everyone, Josh with Fresh Run Fishing. Tonight, we're gonna show you how we paint some jig heads up. I'm gonna do a perch pattern tonight on a, on a uh, flathead uh, while I jig. These are half ounces. And to do a perch head, I like to use three colors. Um, a, a dark color on the top, a orangish on the bottom, and then kind of a transparent um, over all of that, a transparent yellow. So we'll be doing that. I use a lot of times um, a little paintbrush to add my paint, and you'll see how I do that. Uh, so the three paints we're using tonight, this is a color I mix up. It's a uh, like a transparent yellow. It comes out a little darker, so it's not super uh, see-through. There's another color. This is like a, a black smoke kind of with a little sparkle. We're going to use that on the top. And then just a plain orange. These are all powder paints. And then we'll bake them in the oven um, for a super hard and durable cure. So I, I paint most of my stuff with a heat gun. Or heat it up with a heat gun to get the powder paint to stick. It's going to take me a little longer than usual tonight. I got the heat gun on super low just so you guys can hear me talking. So we're going to start by uh, placing our jig under the heat gun. And usually when I've got the heat gun on high, this doesn't take long at all, 20 seconds or so. But I'm going to set the heat gun over here and, and do that. Keep talking to you guys. Um, so, after our jig heads are baked, and if you're using powder paint, I recommend that you bake them at the proper temperatures. It usually shows them uh, the temperatures to bake them at, right on the back of all the paint jars. I'm going to sh show you a few other tricks tonight. I used to like to keep a lot of my stuff secret, but I keep enough secret where <laughs> people can't figure it out. It seems everyone's making lures and copying everyone and doing this and that, but whatever. I guess we're all in it together to catch fish. Oh yeah, that's getting hot. All right, so I'm gonna start on top. I'm gonna take this and just get a little paint on the bristles of that brush. And then we're kind of going to fluff them off like that. So here's the top of the perch head. Nice dark color. With a little sparkle in it. Beautiful. Then I kind of wipe my brush off on my pants. And then I'm going to get the bottom. So a perch on their top back is dark. And on the bottom, they got a little orange color and white. But I'm going to simplify this and just kind of do a little orange. And you see how I'm just sprinkling that over there? When you first do it, um, you, you kind of got to get a feel for it put too much on and uh, that's understandable so I'm just heating this up again I got a couple pair of uh, I'm sure you guys all smoke naughty stuff with these back in the day a couple pair of different roach clips that I'm using so right now my top you can't really see the dark color too great um, but I got the orange and then the dark on top. And this is super hot, so I'm not going to grab it or touch it. So I'm just going to transfer it over to the other set of roach clips or whatever we're calling them. And now I'm going to dip the whole thing into this transparent yellow right here. So I'm going to heat it up a little more. 
Usually I wouldn't have to heat it up again, but like I said, I'm running my heat gun at a super low temp tonight. So you guys can hear me. And then quick swish through. And quick reheat. That baby's ready. Alright, so let me move some stuff out of the way here for you. See on on the top there we got a darker green color and then kind of a transparent color just like a perch in the body and then on the bottom we got got the orange and I with these uh, personally when I make these sometimes I'll do I'll do the lines on them like perch lines and all that I'll put perch lines in the actual bucktail with a permanent marker so that's kind of how we make our three-toned uh, perch color jig heads right there. When I'm painting just one color or just a couple colors, I like to use uh, fluid beds. Here's one of my fluid beds, a bigger one, a three-inch one. And I got all sorts of cups at got painting them for the fluid beds uh, they're really helpful at giving you a thin coat so on this one that I just painted the coats gonna be a little thicker and if I hung these upside down in my oven to cook them I'll probably get a nipple on the end or a big drip so what I've done to combat that is I've built a bunch of uh, little clamps just got some bolts some wing nuts in there. These are just pieces of pine wood that I've used and cut to size to fit my oven. And I'll clamp up like 12 or 14 of these heads at a time. Clamp them up. So this way when they drip now, any of the excess paint is going to drip down to here in the tying area and I don't use up the whole tying area when I tie a jig head so any of that excess will it won't bother me it'll be okay that's just a quick lesson on how we paint the uh, perch heads so a darker color I used a smoke here with a little sparkle in it an orange on the bottom and then a transparent or candy yellow I add a little something to it to make it a little darker. Um, that's our basic perch head right there. Clamped up. Brush on fishing.